out on a, a car camp. Uh, it's going to be a good one today. I brought the menace with me. I'll show you now. Have a look. Yep, taking her out tonight. See what she's like in the car. So, yep. <laughs> Camping with a Belgian Malinois puppy, or should I say, Malangator. All she does is bite, so. <laughs> I'll let you know when we get there. See you in a bit. Yeah, I'm going to go to a few places today. Uh, one, the first one is uh, Monera Quarry. I've been camping there a few times, well, loads of times, with the uh, with the tent. So I'm not going to be camping there. I'm just going to let her have a walk around because there's loads of like wildlife and smells and different things for her to explore. So we'll go there first and then uh, hoping to go to Tlandegla Fishery Trout Farm, get a coffee there and uh, yeah, ask the owner if I can have a walk around the place. So hopefully film it, take her along. So yeah, we're going to be camping up on the Horseshoe Pass. So I've been there once before with the car, but I'm going to go further down to the ledge. Apparently there's a, a better viewing point and more uh, more scenic views. <laughs> yeah, she's still flat out. <laughs> the car's only there. It took us ages to walk to here. <laughs> Sit. And we're here at the uh, Minera Quarry. She's just investigating everything at the moment. So, come. Yeah. So she is on a lead, retractable lead. Just so uh, I don't want her to get excited straight away and bolt. <laughs> Just single, single word commands, that's all she's been given at the moment, so and she's doing well. If I can get untangled for this lead. <laughs> yeah, she's alright. Doing well. So, how is everybody anyway? I haven't been able to get out for a few weeks, gutted. Uh, some things, family things come up, you know, and I just couldn't get out of it. And uh, I wouldn't want to get out of that anyway, you know, family comes first. So, everything's sorted, and I'm back out. She's fully vaccinated and everything, so she's been fleed, wormed, and tick by the vets. So, she's got a stick in the mouth. She's got to carry something, which isn't bad, because, like, she can carry my rucksack when I'm camping. <laughs> Good. Good. She's going to be one of them ones that want to carry a tree trunk. You know, expect you to throw it for her. Come. There, the river's pretty high. All summer I've been coming here and the river was, well, it wasn't a river. You can hear it now. Yeah, you can see that river there now. It's actually actually a flowing river. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> really went ass over it then. Oh dear me. Yeah, I do love it here. Boulders here. <laughs> I gotta watch it don't stand on her. She walks that close to you. Oops, found the first puddle. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know whether to try it off, Lee. She is pretty good with the recall, so I'll give her that. Yeah. And uh, since so she's got the full length of this lead, it's uh, six meters, I think, and she's by my feet. Weird. The fella's the same, so. Good girl. <laughs> what you doing? Come on. Just trying to do the, uh, the YouTube walk towards and then walk behind, you know, the camera in one position on the floor. She got to knock my tripod over and broke, and broke it. <laughs> yep, we have a waterfall. Yeah, I was going to do some training with her so you could see, but I got them to stand my phone up until I get back to the car. I got another tripod in the car. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't know, she just had a sniff and it, it uh, knocked it off balance and it landed flat and just snapped off. Come on, she's got a thing of walking right in front of you and standing still. Oh, just done it again. Gotta carry somewhere. Piece of stone, a uh, stick. <laughs> Clean, she's actually off lead now. She's got no, and she doesn't even want to go. I got a lead here. Sit. 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 Yeah, she's like me. Anything for a treat. <laughs> she's got to keep training her now to stay on the left side of me. Because she's dancing right in front of me and she's going to trip me up. So, see, first ever proper outing walk, so... She's doing bloody brilliant. So that'll come in training. But she doesn't go far, she's here now, right by my feet. There's my feet. Is that a wee? Yep, number one. <laughs> You're alright with the number one? Stopped off at the uh, Flandegla Fisheries, the trout fisheries. And uh, she's loving it. Absolutely loving it. Brilliant off lead not long ago. Yeah. There's a few fishermen here and uh, yeah, she just wants a fuss, but you can't, because she'll bite them. See? She thinks all the uh, sheep shit is uh, treats. <laughs> Cause a fish. I just sit here and uh... and there you go. Scenery is really nice. All of us like to come and camp here. I don't know how much it is. Just says a booking office there. They don't actually give you any prices, but. This lake. Another one down the bottom there.
Yeah, he's insane, honestly. Yeah, back at the car now. That was uh, only a little bit of land egg lift fisheries. The coffee machine's not working here, so and I just didn't want to just be walking around in case they said, hey, what are you doing? You know. But the hardest part of this journey up to now is getting her in a car seat and collar and bloody she's in a seatbelt harness here. So yeah. Just in case you're thinking, oh she shouldn't be in the front seat. <laughs> she can't go nowhere. She's chained in. But that's it. She doesn't, she doesn't like it, so this is what she's got to get used to. So, yeah. Right, I'm going to go up to the Ponderosa and get a coffee. Look at this epic view. And you get to buy here. And look at all this crap. Over there. And yet we've got the bad name. Ugh. Sit. Sit. You can't just eat anything you want. Got the kettle on now. Got a new bed, I'll show you that in a bit. She's off lead, she's loving it. Sage, oh, she's eating mud now. Yeah, I got my mini uh, tripod, but uh, I brought the microphone that you clip on, but the part that fits in my phone, I've left at home. <laughs> so if the audio is a bit quiet or a bit crap, I do apologize. Well, uh, look at this view. Oh my god, how black her head is, her face. Got my coffee, and she's got my bed. <laughs> See it? Oh, got an itchy paw. Let's check, there's no grit or nothing in there. Some of the stuff, she's she like a bored teenager. <laughs> give, it a, give it a treat. Yeah. What you got there? Yeah, what you got? Be gentle, aren't you? Yeah, thank God. Yeah. She's trying to walk underneath the car, and I've just come up B roads full of mud. So I basically have to give it a bath. I've used quite a bit of water on it. So it's a shower when she gets home tomorrow. Or tonight, depending on how she behaves. Yeah, all the new smells in the walk have uh, knocked it out at the moment. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh, there she goes. Yeah, it's a foldable futon. You got the the base section, you got the middle section, and then you got a head section, and when it all folds together, it's like a chair and then folds out to be a bed. So I'm trying that today. It's uh it's about 14 centimeters thick. So it's 170 long by 60 wide, 58 or 60 wide. So 
I'm going to try that. <laughs> My uh, other air bed that I had, it butted up against this. So I've actually gained about a foot. Yeah, and when you're sleeping in a confined small area, every inch counts. And us fellas know about that. Every inch counts. But uh, I tried it at home, sitting on it, you know, lying down on it, put it in the car, and I lay on it, and it is really comfy. So hopefully it works. It's my first time actually sleeping out on it, so I'll let you know in the, in the morning. <laughs> Three degrees outside, and it's 12 inside the car, and I've just put the Cook it on for the coffee. We've both eaten. She is flat out. Yeah, it's all that, uh, all that walking and exercise we've done this afternoon. I know when we filmed a little bit in the quarry, but we were there a good hour, just over. A little walk around the, uh, the fishery, and she's had a good walk around here. So, yeah. She's eating all the food and uh, having a well-deserved sleep. <laughs> I'm going to watch the Arsenal and uh, City game, so Oop, there it goes, and uh, I'll catch you later. Well, it's nine degrees outside and 23 in here, and it's five past ten, nearly settled in now. She's just been for the. Uh, only a walk around the, around the area, close to the car. So, all being well, I'll see you a lot in the morning. <laughs> bye for now. Say bye. <laughs> 25 past 7, 3 degrees outside, it's 9 in here, which isn't too bad. Look at the state of it. She's pulled that blanket on top of herself. <laughs> yeah, she had me up about 10 to 7, I think. So, both been out. She beat the toilet. But yeah, lights a bit bright. So, but I never heard her all night. <laughs> I've had about seven hours again. This futon was really comfy. So, yeah, if I can remember when I'm taking it all apart, I'll put some pictures on. But it, it just folds together. It's all knitted together. And uh, it just folds into a, like a small chair. And then out into a bed. But, oh, it was comfy. Really comfy. Because the last time I used the air bed, it went, it was about half flat. And uh, yeah, I had to get up in the middle of the night and put more air into it. This I don't have to. And uh, the room I got is amazing. Really chuffed with the amount of room I've got now. So I'm going to get a coffee on. Because you all know me. <laughs> Bloody toys everywhere here. That cage there goes on the floor by my feet. Yeah, it's not the best morning. There's uh, another van just up the road there. She's there. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes, yeah, it's a right miserable morning. Oh, bit of chilly, <laughs> very chilly. Gee, I me. Check the condensation. I forgot to bloody open my windows, crack them last night. Oh, never mind. 
I've got a Cartier, the windscreen scrape thing, and uh, yeah, still at home <laughs> in the box. <laughs> oh, it's good to be alive. I love this morning, type of morning. Oh, I love any morning you wake up on. <laughs> Yeah guys, the light's still a bit uh, not as good, so I've got my uh, little torch on the, on the camera. Hope you enjoyed this one, from Tass Destination, and her, Sage, Destination. <laughs> Take care guys, and as always, be safe, and I'll see you next week. Take care everyone, bye.